This is actually quite fascinating. I discovered this by accident. I've been observing this uh, nest of five tree swallows. I have an endoscope uh, snake camera in the, in the top of the box so that I can observe the uh, development of the uh, chicks. And there's a light on it, so during the day, it's generally not necessary to run the light, but I have a light on there sometimes. You know, the uh, entrance of the uh, nest box is facing southwest. A lot of light, there's so much light that comes in through the entrance of the nest box that I don't really use the light. And uh, I was just kind of experimenting with it here, and I realized that this, whenever I turn the light off, the chicks think that it's uh, their parents coming in and blocking the light coming in the entrance hole, and they react to it. So here is uh, the mother, which is uh, sort of an olive brown. And then there's a father. They're both of them at the same time. That's cool. There's a father just came in and gave him a bug and the mother is there. Of course, the mother's job is to remove the fecal sacs and uh, keep the nest clean. Just about all baby birds uh, pass excrement in little, pack, <laughs> little baggies that the uh, parents can pick up and take out and without making a mess in the nest. And so you have end up a clean nest. But uh, let will show you here in a minute. She's in there doing her cleaning. And these endoscope cameras are really great for getting in nest boxes because you can see we're looking right down in at the fledglings you can, or at the uh, nestlings. You can see pretty much right down there through it. Now the camera itself is probably, uh, it's, it's a uh, bluebird box, so it's not very big. And uh, of course you can see the amazing long swallow tail of the mother. Now the mother is gone and the hole is open and the nestlings are relaxing. They've just been fed by both both parents, so it'll be a number of minutes before the swallow. It's getting getting late and uh, kind of cool, and there's rain coming, so it's a little bit harder to catch bugs, but they're a really amazing bug catcher. So what I'll do here now is they're pretty much always hungry now. They're growing. They'll probably open their eyes tomorrow. Now I'm going to turn the light off and see that. It's, it just uh, triggers its instinct to... Uh, beg for food because they think it's their parents coming in. And I'll turn the light back on and they react to the changing light. Now they'll calm down. And then we'll turn it on again and you see they react exactly with the coming and going of the light. Now they'll learn of course there's no sound with this light. There's usually there's always a sound of course accompanied by their uh, parents. So this is natural light now. And I think this is something that goes on because their eyes are still shut. Uh, tree swallow chicks are kind of amazing. They're born so small and so premature. Oh, it's been, uh, I guess, almost a week now. They were just little pink little dots without and their eyes weren't open. Now you can see the parents come in and it gets totally dark when the parents are in there. <laughs> I think I could turn around. <laughs> And uh, you got to be ready because they'll just jam it down your throat. But yeah, they're really uh, slow to develop, really born incredibly helpless and small and pink with not a stitch of uh, feather on them at all in their eyes. Basically two big dark eye sockets and a little pink body. But now they're developing, starting to develop pretty rapidly. They've got some feathers and black for the most part. And you can see, start to see their unique swallow mouth. It looks to me like their eyes will, uh, I would think their eyes will open up tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, certainly the day after. So now I'll turn the light back on. And I think it's, I pretty much think it's daytime. And again, I think this is something obviously, well, of course they react to their parents, the sound of their parents landing, the change of the light, but particularly when they're in this incredibly helpless state with their eyes closed for so long. And now we'll uh, go ahead and turn the light off, and there you go. They're just amazing response to the change in light conditions. Of course, their eyes, they can't see out of their eyes, uh, but they've got that membrane over them, but they can certainly sense uh, 
the changes of light and darkness, particularly a bright, bright light in the sunshine when the parents go in and out of the box. Now the, the increase of light is their parents leaving. Let's light in the, the, the uh, nest box hole. So that the light going up is when their parents leave, and then when the light goes down, see that the change in light triggers that response to beg for food. Uh, I don't wanna, I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> of course, the, the little guys are well fed, and their parents are giving them a lot of food right before dark. So I'm not going to uh, do any more cycles of the light. It's just something that I notice that's really fascinating. And you see, when you turn it up, they don't react to it because that's the sign of their parents leaving. Very fascinating. And uh, what the parents will do tonight is that the uh, swallows are pretty amazing parents, really. The uh, father is very much involved in the, the care of the uh, care of the nestlings. The only thing the father doesn't do, I haven't seen the father remove the uh, fecal sacs. Apparently the, f the fecal sac removal may be a job that's exclusively a the uh, mother's job, but you know she's she's kind of does the tidying up and the, the nest and the and hygiene of the five uh, chicks. But the father is always out there guarding the nest box and always bringing in plenty of uh, bugs, flying insects. Or it's amazing to watch them swoop around the uh, yard in front of the nest box. Some of the more interesting birds I've ever had, had the pleasure of. Uh, having it in the nest box. Now this year, we would have had trouble if there was a house wren around. In fact, that box is used for several years by a house wren, and quite successfully. In the last two years, the male house wren has been unsuccessful at attracting a female for whatever reason. It hasn't been used. And so this year, the swallows, tree swallows moved in. There's a fecal sac that she's removing. The tree swallows moved in, and fortunately, the house wren is not around because the house wrens can be pretty nasty at uh, just uh, attacking other birds in nest boxes. See, there comes the father with his iridescent blue right after the mother. Very incredible parents. So we'll check back with them over in the coming days, and I suspect, like I said, tomorrow or the next day their eyes will open. But again, it's just fascinating that uh, the way they react to the light and, and, and the use of an endoscope or a snake camera, as they call it, is kind of a fascinating way to observe birds when they're already in the nest and it's too late to mount. Well, of course, it's kind of hard to mount a, a big camera in a small... Uh, wren type box that these guys are using but this works out great and one last time I'll turn the light off and disconnect the uh, camera and there you see they react to the turning off of the light but they learn they'll learn there's you know, even at that age with that limited ability that they have they learn pretty quickly of environmental cues that after they've reacted to that particular stimulus they start to let be less and less sensitive to it they, they'll require both the, the change of light and the uh, sound of their parents in the box before they react. And we'll go ahead and unplug the endoscope for the day.